Hi nail fam, I hope you guys are doing well. It's your girl Tia Bella and I have a nail haul for you. I purchased some items from Shein as well as Amazon and we are going to get started on the Shein products first. I have repurchased these buffers from Shein. I go through them relatively quickly because I do a lot of nail content so I ended up purchasing two packs of those and this is something new for me. I have been seeing a lot of these sponge nail files and they've been recommended from a few channels that I've watched. So I ended up purchasing these mainly because they were purple and also because I really enjoyed using um, sponge files, especially when you do acrylic nails. That little bit of flexibility with the sponge, with the filing, sorry, um, definitely works really well. So highly recommend you find some sponge files for your inventory. This is also a repurchase. I previously purchased like a multicolored pack that had like blue, green, I think black and maybe pink. I wanted to have one that was like a plain background. Either it was going to be purple or it was going to be white. Because I do uh, a bit of nail content creation, I just wanted to have a plain white background specifically for some of those videos. So that's why I got these. These are also called dental bibs, I believe, if I haven't mentioned that already. And uh, highly recommend you have some, especially for when you're doing acrylic nails. I went ahead and purchased some 8080. Uh, sanding files. Uh, these are washable and also disinfectable as well. It's very hard to find 8080 grit files, so definitely purchase two packs of those. The next thing I purchased are these black mini sponges. I believe these are buffers. I did also purchase some black mini files as well, and these are all going to go into a kind of press-on nail kit, um, especially for those of us that like to travel. I think having these kits readily available is also good. And if you are starting a press on nail business, you definitely want to have a mini nail kit for your clients to purchase. So here are the mini black files that I purchased to kind of match these black um, buffers here so i purchased five packs of these and each pack contains 20. i didn't mention when i was opening the buffers that each of those pack also contains 20. and so i now have you know enough buffers and files to go along with each other and i thought these were really nice files like usually some files can be very thin and flimsy but these have a nice thickness to them so that when you are filing your nails, you, it, it's, you have that sturdiness. I thought was, these were really nice qualities, good quality, um, considering these are, you know, Shein prices. So not too bad. And I felt like the prices were quite affordable. If you're just starting out a business, you definitely want to keep your costs down because you just don't know the way the business will go. And I also found business cards, like thank you business cards. And I thought, wow, Shein, Shein has the whole, you know, big, um, cheap business idea starter kit going on and the back is white so definitely when you're doing your little business you can write on the back of each card um, a little personalized message and I thought the cards them were really strong they weren't flimsy and really good quality the gloss on top of the cards were also nice as well so well done Shein on on um on these new things I, I really didn't know Shein had so much stationery and like small business um, small business, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, anyway, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Business cards, you know, business supplies. Anyway, so I also found some stickers and these stickers also have the same font and the same kind of design as those business cards. One sticker just says thank you and the other sticker says the same thing that's on the business card. Thank you for supporting my small business. So I thought that was also nice as well. So here, if you wanted to start a business and you wanted it to be black with gold and maybe white as well, everything you need, you can find on Shein. So this was something I've been seeing for a while. This is supposed to be like a gel polish palette. You can apply the polish onto this little palette here. It's almost like a sticky pad, but instead of it being paper, it has somewhat of a um, plastic protective film layer to the top of it which allows you to mix your gel polishes or whatever product you want to mix onto the paper and then once you're done you can dispose of the paper now if you don't have maybe a mixing palette nail palette i do have one um, then these disposable papers would work perfectly fine
So the idea is to simply apply whatever product you want to it, and then you should be able to mix it together. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some random brush that I have here and try to simulate what the experience would be using these products. I thought this was a really great, cheap and effective product so that you don't have a lot of, you know, different nail plates sitting on your desk. If you wanted a very minimalist background, this is definitely a great product to have. And with minimal cleaning up, once you're done, you just kind of balled everything up, no wiping down and just dispose of it. So highly recommend this for nail content creators. We're gonna move on to the next product. This is also a repurchase. These are some nail stands. So if you do content or you have a press on nail business or whatever personal reasons you have to create nails, these stands um, are one of the best stands that I have used off of Shein. Um, I particularly gravitate towards the curved stands simply because I have a little bit more space when I'm stroking my gel polish brushes and the nails are not so close together that there is often a transfer of the gel polish from one product, from one nail to the next. So the curved ones work really well for me. This is also a repurchase. This is some double-sided sticky tape, very thin. You would apply these to either some plastic sticks to press on your nails, or you can apply them to a paper card and just stick your nails on just like that. These are something new for me. I saw these and I was like, well, these look really cute. You could use these for some content creation as well. I don't, I don't think they would you know, work really well for press on nail business because you wanna be able to do like multiple nails at a time, not just one by one. But I mainly purchased these because I thought they were really nice for content creation. So when you want to create videos, rather than having like larger type stands for the nails, you can just use one of these. And uh, it's, I bought two packs, so there's five in each pack and they work seem to work really right, really nicely. These would work mainly for short to maybe long nails. I think for larger nails, you might need possibly two stands if necessary. But I thought this, this, was, a, this was a nice purchase. Moving on, I did this also another repurchase. Uh, these are some square swatch sticks on the medium side. I, I'm, I'm actually starting to lean towards the square sticks in, versus the coffin swatch sticks. I think you guys, I remember in, my, in another Shein video, I did purchase some coffin and I was like, wow, I love coffin. However, when I'm swatching on the, the coffin sticks and they're all next to each other, they expand really wide and they take up a lot of space versus these square ones. They sit into each other a little bit better than the coffin ones. So I'm now moving and having to re-swatch my nails on short coffin on, on the short square stick. So I mean obviously if you still love your coffin, um, definitely have definitely go ahead and get them. So I've been seeing this is another product that I've been seeing, and it's supposed to help with, you know, you know, breaking up that cuticle area. Well, not necessarily breaking it up, but it's it's going to give it a good buff and give it a, you know, remove some of that dead skin that's in the cuticle or aponychium area. So I just purchased it just to have it. This was another product that I've been seeing a lot of, and these are called, these are stirrers. Or for me, I would personally use these to stir products that are inside pots. So for example, acrylic powders. If I'm doing a DIY acrylic powder, which I actually, I'm going to be doing in another video shortly after this video. So I'm going to be making my own, some acrylics. So I definitely wanted to have a stirrer. And then also sometimes I purchase uh, gels that are in pots and there's sequins in them and there's different, you know, kind of textures to them. And sometimes you just need to give it a good stir before you use the product. So having a nice stirrer on hand um, is definitely a good idea. And this is so cute. I love how the top of this uh, stirrer looks. I saw this, there was no reason for me to purchase it except for the fact that it was purple. I'm obsessed with purple, so I saw it and I said, you know what, you can never have too many of these nail clippers because I have broken my sheer fear of clippers. The last one I purchased was white, it was exactly like this, and I tried to clip some acrylic nails that were way too thick and I broke it, so it's a replacement. Now this is another repurchase. I only purchased this because of the plastic I actually really like these plastics. They're very strong. 
and I, I will be using these more for the press on kit. So I will, I will put the nail file, the mini buffer, the mini nail file, you know, the little orange wood stick in here. And then once I have those inside here, um, then I'll just put a, a thank you sticker on it and flip it over and, and then that's basically it. So this is actually a food product. You would put like cookies or, you know, Christmas is coming up. If you wanted to have some gifts for your little siblings or for some relatives or whatever, these this, this is what this is actually for. It's a cookie bag with a little bow on top. Uh, the bowls are actually kind of cute. I wouldn't use them though. So I only purchased it for the plastic packaging. Moving on, I did purchase some nail stickers. I've only purchased like four of these. So I just saw a few of them that I thought were really nice and I wanted to get them, so I purchased them. Okay, so done with the stickers now. Let's move on to this little nail art display. I thought this was really cool. Um, I didn't purchase this main as a business or as a packaging. I purchased this mainly as a prop. So I like to take flat lay photos from now. Sometimes every now and again, I like to take flat lay photos or I like to kind of do more aesthetic or editorial type, you know, video or tutorial. Anyway, this is just a prop. But it looks really nice to display your nails. Maybe if you have a business and you wanted to display a specific nail design, if you were customer facing business, um, you can definitely do that. And the nails don't move. They really hold those nails nicely. This wouldn't work for anything over a long nail. I think short and medium is ideal. Long nails, you're kind of pushing it, but anything after that wouldn't work. This is another repurchase. You guys know that I use leg warmers. I have wide pink and I think I have like a cream color. I wanted to get something dark because we are approaching the fall and uh, Halloween season. So I wanted to get black for the Halloween looks that I will be doing. And then the gray maybe, you know, to interchange between the white because somebody asked me on Instagram if I only have one white shirt. And that's like, what? 
what this person talking about but I, I realized that a lot of my photos do have that one sweater so I don't know people must think I don't have no clothes <laughs> so now I have two clothes <laughs> anyway highly recommend you purchase some um, leg warmers guys they have lots and lots of colors hop on there and grab a few All right, so this was another prop purchase. Um, this is I, I this is actually a pencil case as it was marketed on their website, but I actually purchased it mainly as a prop for nails. Um, so certain videos, when you're doing your videos, you want to create a mood. You want to kind of create a everything that you do should kind of be leading towards a certain lifestyle. So if if you are aesthetic or you're you know, focusing on minimalistic kind of backgrounds and stuff. You want to have props and in and, and things in your video that kind of lean towards the mood that you're kind of creating. So this was a part of the mood that I want to create for my future content videos. I saw these washi tapes. They're very aesthetic, and I think they would really go nicely with the packaging theme that I, theme idea that I have. So I purchased these mainly for the nice colors that's in here. And I want to see what kind of designs in terms of the packaging that I can put together using these washi tapes. I actually have a lot of washi tapes, but they are very like bold and wild colors. And I wanted something a little bit more that would go well with those black buffers and those black files. Those black files. Now, I went a little crazy on the stickers. I am obsessed with stickers and specifically aesthetic stickers. Some of these are repurchases of stickers that I've previously had from my last haul or one of my last hauls. And then some of these are new ones that I discovered. And the concept, I have explained this before. I, I, I'm a very visual person. And so with everything that I do, there needs to be some sort of vision. There needs to be some sort of mood that I'm creating. And stickers help me to create that mood. So you, as a business person or as an individual, as a content creator, one tip I can definitely say is try to find whatever theme or, and, and signature thing to you that you want to create in every single video and stick to that and purchase stuff that that kind of, I don't know, I don't know if it's called an MO, like what is, what is your MO? What is it about these videos that I create or another creator creates that you know when you see it, oh, that's, that's Tia 100% or that's nails by key or that's baby girl nails you know or that's femi beauty whoever you know i i don't know why i put my name in those big the big shots because i have the smallest of all, all of them but like I, i'm trying my my thing is here is whatever you are whatever that create creative side to you is purchase things that are going to help to boost that thing about you I know that I love aesthetic and that's something that I just want to focus more on. And so everything that I have purchased is going to focus more on that. Okay. I have a lot of stickers. We're just going to go through the stickers, let you see what the stickers look like. And if you are inspired by some of the stickers that I have, feel free to go and get some for yourself. So these ones are more on the vintage side. Um, if you're a, if you like scrapbooking, I'm sure these stickers you would love. Betty and Veronica, Archie, you guys remember the comic books back in the day? As I was opening this, I just went down memory lane. I was like, oh my goodness, wow! So if you are a millennial, you'll definitely like you you'll definitely connect to some of the stickers here. And that's the whole idea behind these stickers is that they just bring back some good old memories that we kind of forgot as we were kids. So here's this is this is a new sticker as well. And as I was pulling the stickers out of this particular block, I was kind of confused because I thought I purchased one thing without reading it clearly i didn't read the description but this was a very pleasant surprise this this is one of the largest stickers if this is a sticker i've ever seen i was pulling it on it's like what what did i purchase but i instantly fell in love i could i could completely cover an entire card with this particular sticker and it reminded me of the pink sand beaches back in the Bahamas. It reminded me of strolling down the beach, picking up seashells with my siblings and just enjoying childhood. So again, 
as I'm going through the stickers, already emotions were going through it. So with my future business endeavors with the press on nails, that's exactly what I want to do. All right, let's continue looking through these wonderful stickers. So this particular one was also an interesting sticker. Um, I kind of freaked out a little bit. I thought like this is so cool. Like the I, I like it's like vintage stamps from way back in the day. And I just came back from a trip from London and I went over to Birmingham. And so just looking at these stamps, I kind of felt like, wow, I just, you know, it's just so um coincidental. And the same day that I was traveling was when the queen died. So I was on my way to London and then the news broke. And so when we were down there, you know, it was just a, you felt a sense of, of sadness among the, the people in, um, in the UK. But also you can see that there was a, a, a great amount of respect for the queen. And um, yes, I don't know. I just thought I'd mention that to all my UK fans, my UK subscribers and followers um you know i share in your condolences all right on a lighter note i'm down to the last few stickers guys just bear with me just a little bit um on a happier note some of these stickers actually are really joyful and and fun and i absolutely love the stickers they are all around the same price point you will find stickers from either a euro 50 to two euros maybe two euros 50 I don't know how much it is in, in, in dollars. Maybe it's like $2 or $3. But I highly recommend the stickers. They just set a whole different mood to scrapbooking and journaling. And maybe you have a, like a diary and these help like with motivation and stuff. So give it a try, guys. Give it a try.
So I finally decided to purchase some nails, some full cover nails from Shein. And I wanted to see what the quality of the nails were like. I also wanted to see how they fit, how durable they are. So I purchased a few different sizes, um, as well as nail styles, actually. For the first time, I've kind of purchased like oval. I think these are oval or they're round nails, a nail style that I have never, I think, ever worn. And I wanted to see how it would turn out on my hand. And I kind of like, kind of like it. All of the nails that I purchased were either medium or long. I've not purchased anything extra long or over the top because I already have those from AliExpress. So those are the round ones. And I think I purchased a stiletto, an almond, and I believe a coffin, I think, if I remember correctly. No, square, sorry. I didn't purchase coffin. I think I purchased square. So we're just going to go ahead. I'm only going to show my thumb because that is where I have the biggest issue. All of the other nails usually fit, but it's just the thumb that I usually have an issue with. So these are the squares. This is the long square and what they call long, I literally consider it to be short. So clearly I have any, <laughs> I have a difference of opinions in terms of the length, but this is considered their long, perfectly understandable. I think it's a good, good length. Um, there's enough space on these to do a little bit of nail art as well. So these is, these sizes are from zero to nine. And I've shown the other sizes from the other videos. Now, when I pulled this thumb out, I was like, what is going on? This is the dinosaur thumb. I thought I had an alien thumb. Clearly, somebody else out there has a larger thumb than I do. I don't feel bad anymore. So clearly, I'm not an alien thumb. I'm, I'm a normal thumb. Hello. So I put that back. That must be a thumb for a man. This The, the, the squareness of this also is kind of weird. I'm Maybe I was hoping more for a tapered square. This is giving me boxy. This is giving me, I'm almost, I was almost confused as if this was a duck nail because it, but it didn't expand the way the duck nails do. This could definitely be like a alien duck nail. I'm gonna call this alien duck thumb because this is really wide, but I kind of like it and I'm going to give it a try to see how well it works. That's everything from Shein. I wanted to quickly show you some of the other products that I purchased from Amazon to go alongside these products. So like for those press on nail kits that I mentioned, you're also going to need alcohol pads. So I showed you earlier the sponge, the, the buffer and the mini file. In addition, you're going to need some alcohol pads 
and you're also going to need some orange wood cuticle sticks as well as sticky tabs and that's what I kind of purchased from Amazon. I saw these and there was a really good price on these. These are the McCart nail glue. I have used McCart nail glue before and I can fully agree that it has been one of the strongest nail glues I have ever used. They sent me some press-ons I think in another in a previous package and I and I the, the Nikita Nikita nails I think. And I tried the glue on it and I thought that, you know, these were going to be those cheap glues that could just pop these nails back off. I wasn't really thinking about it. Those nails stayed on for the whole five days that I was away. And I was literally trying to yuck those off my fingers. So well done to McCart on those nail glues. Here's the orange wood sticks. Again, these are a little bit on the longer side. Hopefully I can get them to fit into the, the packet because the buffer and the mini nail file are going to be significantly shorter than these. But you need those for your little nail kits. You also need some adhesive sticky tabs. I kind of liked these because they were giving me like a pink tint to them. And I thought that was really nice because sometimes the white nails can be like too white or too clear, sorry. And it's like pretty obvious you're wearing sticky tabs. So I'm hoping that when you use these pink ones, it's not going to be as obvious. And then they have the little perforated line down the center so I can just tear it in half and split it between the two because the other ones I didn't have perfor perforated lines onto them as well. All right. And then here's the cardstock. So I like to use the cardstock as the backdrop for where I will apply those stickers. Remember we talked about the stickers and the little mood board and stuff. So I would apply the stickers onto the cardstock and then we're going to put the double sided sticky tape on and stick some nails down. I will do a video on how I'm going to package everything for press on nails and how I'm going to design these, these, uh, card stock. So here are some of the stickers that was from a previous Shein nail haul. And then I also got some stickers from Amazon as well. I just wanted to show you that if you didn't find everything you think um, on Shein, sometimes Amazon actually does have a good deal. It just will cost you a few more dollars or euros more again, but you won't have to wait. So if I was to run out on the last minute, I think Amazon was definitely uh, a good backup. Some of these colors I couldn't really find on Shein at the last minute, or I didn't look long enough. And that's the other disadvantage with Shein. You really need to look a long time. But I'm just showing you some of the stickers I previously had. And then also showing you some new stickers that I found on Amazon as well. And the last thing that I purchased from Amazon were some full cover nail tips. Some of them did arrive broken, at least the, the case, but inside the nails were perfectly fine. And I love that these were already in boxes. I thought the pricing of these were not too bad. And the majority of them did fit from sidewall to sidewall. I was really happy about that. So that definitely means that it will be able to at least, you know, 80% of persons that do, you know, have... Full cover nails on a Delphine fit. So I did purchase five different sizes. I purchased a square, a stiletto, an almond, a round slash oval, and also a coffin nail. So here are all five of those. All of these were from the same vendor. If I can remember to put the link, I will have the link down in the description box for these Amazon nails. And they were advertised as medium, and which is kind of funny because... They're the same length as the long that Shein was kind of advertising as well. So I don't know if they're medium or I don't know if they're long, but they definitely 
are a good size for the everyday women. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, nail haul from Shein as well as Amazon. Stay tuned for subsequent videos of how I will be preparing these nails and doing a little bit of packaging. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you in the next video.